chasing an evolutionary mystery. These researchers have been documenting the lives of killer whales here for four decades. There we go. And their findings have revealed new insight into something that we humans share with a mammal so very different from us. Orcas and humans are two of only three mammals on the planet that stop reproducing partway through our lives. And this 40-year study of killer whale society has already shown that grandmothers play a crucial role, leading their pod and helping their families survive. But scientists have now used this unique data set that's recorded births and deaths in every orca family here to prove that it's crucial for the survival of new calves for grandmothers to stop reproducing when their daughters start. When a mother and daughter breed at the same time, the calf of the mother has about 1.7 times higher risk of dying in the first 15 years of life. But the benefits of grandmothering are not enough to explain why human menopause has evolved. And it's only when you consider the conflict and the competition within the family group and that older females lose out that you can actually understand and explain why menopause has evolved. Avoiding this so-called reproductive conflict between the generations seems to give babies the best possible chance. So we've been really interested in just how important that bond is for the survival of... And that's something that could finally explain human menopause. At some point in the evolution of our ancestors, the researchers say that menopause evolved as an adaptation to prevent reproductive conflict between older and younger women. This, combined with the fact that grandmothers are of such huge benefit to their grandchildren, explains why our reproduction stops while our lifespan continues to increase. We can't go back in time to study our own ancestors' lives, but this long, careful observation of killer whale society has finally revealed the origin of menopause, something so fundamental to our own. Victoria Gill, BBC News. The number of men in low-paid part-time work has increased dramatically over the last 20 years. New research by